Developing story tonight, a suspect is now in custody for shooting a Chicago police officer a month ago. Police say the gunman shot Officer Fernanda Ballesteros in the head during a traffic stop on the south side. WGN's Jenna Barnes has more. Well, police say this suspect was staying in Iowa with someone he knew. The Great Lakes Regional Fugitive Task Force left Chicago early this morning and arrested him there. Police say it was supposed to be a traffic stop for a minor violation, but instead they say 28 year old Jabari Edwards got out of his pulled over car and shot at officers, hitting officer Fernanda Ballesteros in the head. It happened June 1st in the 6100 block of South Polina. Today, the Great Lakes Regional Fugitive Task Force arrested the suspect in Burlington, Iowa. You cannot run, nor can you hide from justice. Chicago police have not said how they traced the suspect to Iowa, but gathered evidence about who they were looking for in the moments after the shooting. Immediately when the officer was shot, the defendant fled in a black vehicle and crashed the vehicle. Police say Edwards fled and witnesses pointed them in his direction. We used video and we actually saw him um, dis discharge, try to hide a firearm, which we recovered, and then that firearm matched to the casings on the scene. Edwards is now charged with two counts of attempted murder of a police officer. He's being held in Iowa, awaiting extradition to Chicago. Police say he has a previous conviction for attempted robbery. WGN investigates found court records that show he was arrested in 2020 for allegedly having a gun in his car. But in February of this year, the state's attorney's office dropped three gun charges from that arrest four months before Ballesteros was shot. It shows in the blink of an eye an officer's life is forever altered. The officer recorded this video from her hospital bed before she was released from the University of Chicago Medical Center days after the shooting. Now said to be continuing her recovery at home. We've reached out to the state's attorney's office to ask why those gun charges were dropped. We're told they're looking into it. Today, Superintendent David Brown says there are not enough consequences for people who are arrested with guns. At Chicago Police Headquarters, Jenna Barnes, WGN News. It has been a gorgeous summer day across the Chicago area. Sky Cam 9 capturing the city.